Civil engineering is the discipline that builds worlds. Engineers have a huge responsibility to design worlds for people that are universally accessible, that inspire. I am Faith Malton, being born with one arm. I am a natural born engineer, and I want to create a future that is accessible for all. It was a very big surprise. Um, very normal pregnancy, um, no indication that there would be any issues. The doctors at the time just said, she's only as handicapped as you make her. And um, that was the advice that has kind of followed me throughout her entire lifetime. It was hard as a parent. There are many moments where you just kind of turn your head and think, I don't want to watch this because she's struggling. But I knew that through the struggle, she'd figure it out. I think that that's probably what led her to be the engineer. Problem solving skills have been a requirement to this life. For me, overcoming an obstacle is not just about that obstacle or learning something, it's also about evolving. I almost go after those things that are difficult for the sake of overcoming. One of my philosophies that I carry with having one arm and completing tasks is to make things look as if those tasks were meant to do with one arm, that you didn't need two arms to complete that task. When people see me struggle, I feel the energy of pity or, oh, poor thing. And for me, pity dehumanizes a human. It takes away their dignity. I feel a responsibility to be the superhero to my own story, to correct that stigma. Keeping vigilant over my own health and wellness is something that I practice. Training, food, always engineering myself. If I can be the very best that I can be, I believe that that will be a message to the world. You can propel yourself in whatever direction you want and you can go as far as you want, but you have to do the work and you have to believe in yourself. My mom has taught me very many powerful lessons, adapting my mentality, adapting my solutions to problems, and adapting my mindset to one that serves me instead of making me wallow in my own circumstances. She's incredibly resilient. She accomplished what I had hoped for her, which was to become independent. My goal is to be the role model that I needed when I was a kid. The best way to lead is by example. It's my time to really cultivate problem solving skills and the ability to take variables, take knowns and unknowns and find solutions. And that system allows someone to find solutions in their own personal life as well as in engineering. That's sort of the underlying thread that I apply to health, fitness and my career. I really wanted to go through parenting her, if something were to happen to me, could she make it on her own? And I, I feel confident that she could if I wasn't here.